Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Phoenix Furniture Studio. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm testing the waters with reselling vintage home decor. I, I love doing furniture, but I, I really want to save home vintage home decor from the dump as well. So I'm going to dabble in it, dip my feet in the water as much as I can because I am zero to a hundred so if I'm in I'm all in so I did go to the charity shops yesterday and bought three big bags full of bits that I thought were really lovely and I'm going to see how I get on with those so I'm going to split it into three videos because there's quite a lot in each and I'll do sort of like a haul video and then in future I'm hoping to be able to film the being in the actual charity shop or the boot sale and share that with you but baby steps so I've got three big bags full I'll show you what I've bought and then hopefully if it sells I'll start sharing what sells so let's dive into the first bag these are my three big bags full so we're going to split those up into three videos. The first finds were these beautiful Art Nouveau style glass lampshades. And I believe there's a glass blower in the UK called John Ditchfield. And these are sort of in the style of how he blows his glass. And they've got this beautiful iridescent coloring on them and then this is the pink one one which in the light has this sort of rainbow iridescence to it and they're both so pretty uh, my friend who I was um, at the charity shops with she spotted these and I paid three pound fifty for each of these and I need to do a bit of research on what I'm going to price them at. But I saw um, a similar lot of three sat at auction for £60. I don't think I'll price them anywhere near that. Um, but yeah, those are really pretty, pretty lamps. My next find was this lovely coffee pot with the blue and white print. Now this is from uh, Einstone, Staffordshire, England. And it is the, I think the pattern is Valencia designed by Jessie Tate. And I paid £4.50 for that. It's just such a lovely print. And on the top there as well. Next I picked up this lovely little casserole pot. Again, blue and white. It's got this floral design and then um, this beige border now it is Royal Dalton and I believe the line is called inspiration uh, that's it there it's in really good clean condition and I paid five pounds for that so I thought that was really pretty. I've not sold, um, I've not found any exactly the same that are sold. Again, I don't think it's a massive money maker. But I saw the Royal Dalton and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. This is how we learn. All of this, I think I gave myself a five pound spending limit for everything because I thought I can't go too horrifically wrong. If I cap everything at five pounds, I'll hopefully at least make my money back. So that's this is all just learning for me. 
And then I found this lovely little Pyrex dish. And this is in the British Hedgerow design. It's got lovely little black blackberries and black currants and flowers. And I thought this colouring, whilst it is also spring colouring, it could be all, slightly autumnal. And I paid £2.50 for that. Really good condition, no chips or anything. So I thought that was worth a pick up as well. I tend to look out for the Pyrex um, ones with the designs on it. Again, testing which ones work and won't work. I also picked up this Pyrex dish. It's the turquoise snowflake design. And I thought with Christmas coming up, this might be a good idea to pick this one up. It's got its lid. I paid four pounds for it. Once I'd got it home, I noticed it's lovely and clean on the inside. But I noticed once I got home that there was some scratching to the turquoise on both sides. And also a small chip to the corner over there. So I don't think I'm going to make a ton of money on it. But I just thought that the pattern is really pretty for this time of year. I also picked up this Arcopal Daisy Salad Bowl. This dates from about the 70s. And it's just a lovely, simple daisy design in the bowl, which is this milk glass. I paid two pounds for it. And yeah, it's in really nice condition. And that would be perfect to have like a fruit salad or a salad in it. So yeah, I really like that one. It's just nice and simple. I also picked up this Arcopal vintage casserole dish and in hindsight I don't think I should have there's a lot of staining to the top of the lid but I really liked the sort of volcanic colour of the dish it's really pretty but as I say, that lid is very heavily stained. Inside, it's lovely. I paid £4.50. Um, and inside, there's a few marks. So next to go in my trolley was this Studio Pottery um bowl with lid i don't know if you'd use this as a cheese bowl or um little casserole dish i just really liked the pattern on it and the color it's that vintage green sort of color with the brown and i just thought this would look really lovely in someone's kitchen. I paid £4.50 for it. So, yeah, we'll just have to see how that one does. The final item that I picked up, which potentially might be the most exciting, is this silver plated what I think might be a coffee pot. I paid £3.50 for it. It's very heavy. And it's got Carrington and Co. Two gills, 202. And then some etchings in the bottom. And I've Google Lens the etchings. And it looks like this might date from around the Victorian era, era, so late 1800s, early 1900s. I've not seen one exactly like this, but I thought that was really cool if it was that old. 
Um, in terms of pricing, I have no idea. I'd have to do some more research. But it's got this lovely handle as well. And some of the silver plating is sort of coming off. But for me, I think that adds to the charm of it. So, yeah, if anyone knows anything about it, please do let me know in the comments. Same with anything I've picked up. Obviously, I'm still learning. So share your knowledge with me. I'd love to learn as I'm going from you as well. But yeah, so that's everything I found. Well, no, that's a lie. That's one bag <laughs> of stuff that I found. And I'll do two separate videos for the two remaining bags. So I'll do a little three part series. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next haul video. Bye.